Hello friends, today's video is a bookish gift guide for Christmas or any other time of the year or any other holiday but Christmas is coming. Without further ado, here are some wonderful gifts for bookish people. So to start with, I have a little bit of shameless self-promotion. I have some of my own goodies to sell this year on my website, which is linked down below. Um, so to start with, I have these little notebooks which are all based on my Harry Potter textbook series. Um, so I've got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Advanced Potion Making, Hogwarts A History, Defensive Magical Theory, and The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore. I also have some more designs up on there, um, more Harry Potter ones, but those are just my favorites that I wanted to show just now. Uh, there are also postcard sets, um, which come in sets of five, which are themed. There are prints of, the Harry Potter textbook designs. There are a variety of those. They come in both the A5 size and A4. There are also a whole lot of my Inktober originals up there still as well. So here's a, here are just a few of them. There's the Luna Lovegood one, the Little Mermaid, which is a special green one. And then we've got Severus Snape and Dorian Gray and like I said there are more up on my website as well and all of the prices on my shop include international shipping. So I wanted to highlight some other creators as well. Um, the first one is Holly Exley who is an illustrator. She also has a wonderful YouTube channel which I will link down below um, but I recently bought this beautiful print from her Etsy shop. Uh, these are all artifacts that she found at the museum and painted and I just thought that these colours were beautiful and would go perfectly in my new studio which is going up in January. I've got some other prints which will go alongside that nicely. Uh, the other thing I've got from her shop is a little sticker sheet and these are so cute. Um, these are succulents and I want to stick them on everything. The next creator that I wanted to highlight is Fran Nerd and she also has a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop and she's recently developed this planner which is absolutely amazing. It's uh, got so much detail in there, lots of different activities and little surprises. This just I've never seen a planner that's got this level of detail. And also you can put in your own dates, which is lovely um, if you want to start it at any time of the year. She's also got a range of other stuff on her website. A couple of other creators, one is called Fable and Black and the other is The Clever Clove. And both of them do, uh, they do a range of things, but what I really wanted to highlight were their pins and they are bookish and they are creative and just lovely. So if you're wanting to get just something small or a stocking stuffer, they're perfect for that. All right, so onto the books. Uh, first up, I have two books by Jen Campbell. The first is Franklin's Flying Bookshop, which is a wonderful picture book all about a dragon who starts a bookshop with this little girl called Luna um, on his back and he flies around and it's, it's amazing and beautiful and it's just a delightful read for any family or, or child that you know and want to buy a lovely picture book for. And then for older readers, there is The Beginning of the World in the Middle of the Night, which is a slightly terrifying slightly whimsical, a bit of all sorts sort of book. It's a collection of short stories and I just love Jen's writing so much and I'm not just saying this because she's my friend. She just captures the the weirdest parts of, of humanity and really takes them to their limits and there are a lot of fairy tale elements in this book which is wonderful so if if you're looking to buy something for somebody who enjoys things like Angela Carter, Jeanette Winterson, any of those sort of whimsical short stories, this is absolutely perfect. And um, yeah, it's, it would be quite a cozy read as well. I mean, it's summer here in New Zealand, but if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and enjoying a, a colder winter, this would be the perfect book to snuggle up by the fire with. Another book that fits into that snuggling up by the fire kind of vibe is The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. This is the first volume which is La Belle Sauvage which was released not that long ago. This is a special edition and I have a feeling that you can't get hold of this anymore um, as it was just a, a limited run but 
the the usual edition is definitely available and that's also a beautiful hardback and it's a great read anyone who enjoys his dark materials is going to love going back into that world it's a children's book but it's got a lot more depth to it than a lot of children's literature um, which the best children's books do so this is one of those ones that you could give to a variety of people um, anyone who read his dark materials as a child or um, I think people who enjoy literary fiction will also enjoy this. Okay, so for crime fans, we've got If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio, and this is a book that reminded me rather a lot of The Secret History by Donna Tartt, which is one of my favourite books of all time. It's a crime novel, but it's, it's a really it's a literary crime novel and it's one that's going to make you think. It's a little bit pretentious at times, um, but not too much. Uh, it's about a group of Shakespearean scholars um, at university and so it's a group of friends and one of them is killed and the rest of them are implicated. We know from the beginning that one of the characters has been convicted of this crime and yeah it's, it's a real page turner but also I really loved the way it was written and it made me want to savour every word which is just the mark of a brilliant book. So this wouldn't be a proper Christmas gift guide if I didn't have a couple more Harry Potter things. I know I've already mentioned my own designs but this year has been an absolute stunner for Harry Potter related books uh, which has made me very very happy. So first up we've got Harry Potter A History of Magic which is um, the companion book to the British Library exhibition all about Harry Potter and the writing of Harry Potter. This is full of images about real life witchcraft and things like divination bones and magic wands of, of different sorts and it's also got all these actual Harry Potter artifacts as in pages from J.K. Rowling's original script and drawings that she did, things like that, uh, as well as images from the illustrated Harry Potter books. So this image here is by Jim Kay. So that is absolutely beautiful. There's also a lot of text in here which is great if you're a bit of a nerd and you, if you're watching this and you like Harry Potter you probably are a bit of a nerd. Um, yeah there's a lot to read about the history of magic as, as a historical um, subject. So then we have the illustrated Fantastic Beasts which surpassed all of my expectations. I had very high expectations but this is quite different from what I expected which is fantastic. I love the the style of this illustrator. Um, let me just find my favourite page. This one here is definitely a favourite. Um, this is the Basilisk as we can see. Um, I just think that it, it's got a lovely um, loose feel to it, the, her style, um, but also there's a lot of detail and that colour, that green is absolutely stunning, so yeah. Um, and the whole thing is just beautifully produced, as is A History of Magic, um, all the foiling on the cover. It's a naked hardback, um, it's got a ribbon bookmark, what more could you want? Okay, so the final book is for all you design nerds and book nerds and if you like design and books then what more could you want in a book? Um, <laughs> apart from a ribbon bookmark. I'm terribly sorry this one doesn't have a ribbon bookmark but on every other count it is wonderful. So this is about the art of the dust jacket from 1920 to 1970. Um, so this is as opposed to paperback design um, or just straight hardback designs. Um, it was during this time that the paperback, uh, the, the dust jacket and the paperback became much more prevalent and of course there's a whole art to the dust jacket as opposed to underneath the book. Um, so this is wonderful if you like typography or yeah any sort of illustration. There's a bit of all sorts in here and it's colourful and there's a bit of writing about each designer as well so if you want to get nerdy about it then that is also an option. So there we are those are the books and the bookish things that I would recommend you buying your bookish friends for Christmas. If you want to find me elsewhere online I am on Instagram which is at Holly Nun Design and my website is hollynundesign.com which is where all of my 
designy things like these are. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.